Christ. When Tim and Daisy, two twenty-somethings in Britain, are both without a place to stay, they have to pretend to be a couple in order to get a very cheap and very attractive so-called flat apartment for you American English speakers. And that's really only like the first episode or so. The rest of the show has them just trying to deal with, you know, life friends, relationships, it's, you know, a bit less glamorized than a lot of other shows about, you know, people in that age group, in that basic situation. Other than Tim, a bit of an immature, skateboarding, comic book artist, wannabe at least, played by Simon Pegg, and Daisy, who really isn't that happy about doing her work, which is writing. She's a journalist. She's also a bit moody, but don't tell her that. We also have their landlady, who never shuts up, Marsha. We have Brian, the artist, who's a bit strange, who lives downstairs, and then both of them have a best friend. Tim's best friend is Mike, played by Nick Frost, a grown man who can't quite be in the army, and it really bothers him because he likes guns. And Twist, Daisy's best friend, kind of nuts about fashion and really a very superficial person. The thing about this show is, other than being just utterly, unapologetically epic, it's full of these really well done references and pastiches of everything in pop culture in, you know, the last 30 years. Everything that these guys love, at least. And you can tell that they really love it. You know, we've got Evil Dead 2, The Shining, Star Wars. It's all over the place, and they just go for it. All of the characters are pretty odd, but you can tell that they love them, and we can't quite help but feel for them to even twist. There are many cameos by other big British comedians. This is supposedly a sitcom, but it's not really the static kind of, you know, you have the one set that they spend most of their time in and then they go to a couple of other sets. This has location shoots, very creative camera work, you know, they'll sometimes emulate the style of whatever they're referencing. And other times, it's just, it's very much Edgar Wright's style. And I think this is about as far as I can go without talking about the other two things with the trio of Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost. Shaun of the Dead, essentially a romantic comedy that happens to have zombies in it. It's a zombie movie spoof done right. You can tell that they respect the genre. George Romero liked it so much that he gave, I think it was Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright, cameos in Land of the Dead. And Hot Fuzz, a spoof pastiche of every single action movie ever made. Now, I started by watching Shaun of the Dead, and, you know, in the extras they'll talk about Spaced, and I saw references to Spaced, so I watched Spaced. And later I watched Hot Fuzz, because I loved Shaun of the Dead, and I loved Hot Fuzz even more, and so I got Spaced. 
I bought it without having seen a single episode, and I don't regret it for a second. All three of these. If you like one of them, you will probably like the other two. I personally love all three. I can't get enough of this stuff. If you watch any of them, you'll see Edgar Wright's directing style. A lot of really fast, snappy stuff, and in general, just, it's very dynamic. It never really stands still. They put in whatever they really want to have in there and just go for it. The characters are well written and we do get into the things that they do and it's stuff that we've also experienced you know it really speaks to you there's a real sense of reality it just really feels like it's what everybody experiences to an extent not everyone will love these. I have heard some people that really don't get into... I would say if you just watch a trailer for one of the movies, you will get a pretty good idea. Or if you watch a single episode of the show, if you watch one of the two movies. If you don't like that one, you'll probably not like the others. It's not the exact same, but the style, the sense of humor, the energy is pretty much the same in all three. And I think that is about what there is to say about it. So, I got the three disc collector's edition of Spaced, and I can very much recommend that if you either like Spaced or you think you will like it, or if it's just like not that more much more expensive than just the two seasons. Yes, only two seasons, and it's British comedy seasons, so 14 episodes total. With that said, all of them are fantastic. There's not a single one of these episodes that I don't love. There are commentary, commentary tracks on all 14 episodes. We've got I think total of half an hour of outtakes from the two seasons, deleted scenes with commentary, biographies of both cast and characters, there's a music video that's like a dance music song, I don't know what you call that, edited together of clips of the show. And there is a 81-minute documentary called Skip to the End, recorded in 2004, three years after the second series came out. And it's a sort of retrospective documentary. They talk about the experiences making it and inspirations. They take a tour of many of the locations. It's, it's fun, especially for fans. If you're not a fan, you probably won't like the documentary. And there's also a so-called homage ometer, and it's basically like an alternate sub subtitle track, where every time there's a homage to something, it'll say, you know, reference to this or that, instead of the regular subtitles. So anyway, that was my spoiler-free review of Spaced. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.